Okay, uh, this is a demonstration video of a uh, small wagon turntable I bought from uh, Kitwood Hill Models in the UK. Okay, very nicely laser cut kit. Uh, the ring around the turntable at the moment has been removed, but it, it does have a ring that fits around there with a paper spacer makes for a very neat and tidy um, turn wagon turntable or a very small loco turntable. Okay, it also came with a push button and a battery it's a holder and once assembled it uh, runs quite happily on um, one and a half volts and I'll show you the back of it in a minute. But anyway just push the button and you can see it rotating around it's quite nice and slow very smooth but it stopped. You know, this is a problem with the inbuilt um, indexing system the wipers I do not think are very good and this is the real major shortcoming of the kit and now my camera's telling me it's got a flat battery Bugger. let's push that again okay and what it needs now is the indexing wipers to be removed and cleaned as you can see every time I let the button go it stops so it's not working as it should let's give you some idea of the underneath of it it's all laser cut very nicely done oops it's starting to run again <laughs> just put a bit of pressure on the indexing ring a uh, little 5 volt uh, 30 revs per minute or 6 volt 30 revs per minute um, geared motor underneath it's got a you can see there gear reduction for the main drive shaft and you can also possibly see just in there is the pickups for the track and that's one of the indexing pickups there's two of them um, and underneath the table is a, a disc of printer circuit board all very nicely cut out to um, index the track and apply power including reversing to the to the rails okay so uh, yeah very nice kit but the issue I have with it and I will not be using it is that if you have a problem with the pickups etc they virtually need to be unglued and mucked around with um, and that would entail removing the uh, turntable from the layout and I'm not really prepared to do that so Unfortunately, it costs £34.50, pence, great British pounds, 50 pence, and another 11.55 British pounds, a total of 46 British pounds to get it into New Zealand, which is around about uh, 100 New Zealand dollars. So, a bit expensive, very nicely built, very well thought out. I thought it was actually very, very well done in that. The only issue I have with it is the uh, pick up arrangements that if you had trouble with them you cannot get at things to actually not properly anyway to actually service them and uh, maybe clean like the disc or the pickups okay thanks for watching